Um, let's talk about a guy we both really love. Yeah. Draft Gabriel Davis everywhere. That's it. Just yeah. do it. Just do it. He's in that, you know, tier, that the, the 15 through 30 tier on the Wolves wide receiver uh, or overall board. Is it? No, it's wide receivers, right? Yeah. yeah. So he's in that tier five that's really, really, really difficult. You got him 22, which is like right in the middle of that tier five. Let me, let me just, I'm going to rattle off tier five real quick just to give you a sense of how difficult this is. Mike yeah. Thomas. I mean, who the hell knows what Mike Thomas is going to do? He could be the wide receiver one for all we know. Right. Uh, or he could not play. Um, <laughs> Allen Robinson, 17. Jalen Waddell, Hollywood Brown, Elijah Moore, DK Metcalf, Gabriel Davis, Amon Ross St. Brown, Brandon Cooks, Terry McLaurin, Darnell Mooney, Jerry Judy. He's probably going to fall a little bit. Yeah. Rashad Bateman and DJ Moore. That's tough. And then when you go to tier six, then you got Juju. You got Michael Pittman. You got Hunter Renfro, Cortland it's Sutton, tough. who maybe he's going to get a bump now. Uh, it's just really, really tough. But as far as Gabriel Davis, I talked about Hollywood. I said, you know, there's a, a wide range, like 15, uh, 10 to 30. But I don't think Hollywood's going to be down at 30. I feel like he's pretty close to his floor. I kind of feel the same way about Gabriel Davis. I mean, I, I don't I don't see him being like wide receiver 30, 35. He's, he's, he's a solid bet. You should get him. Yeah, 100%. And <laughs> I, I agree with you. The floor is pretty good compared to this tier, given that they vacated 184 receiver targets. That's the fifth most with Sanders and Beasley. <clears throat> Now gone, you know, Jamison Crowder added and a couple rookies. But overall, he's start, He's going to be an every down player for the first time in his career. It seems like the type of guy that anytime he gets used, he excels. You know, the last six weeks when Sanders was hurt and, and, and limited in the games or not playing at all, he scored five touchdowns in six games, Gabriel Davis did. He had two for 41 touchdown against the Pats. And then that last game of the season, the biggest moment of his NFL career, Eight catches, 201 yards, and four touchdowns. I mean, we all saw how saw damn it. dominant this kid was. I mean, he has an objectively great quarterback throwing him the ball, too. Like, Maybe like the best in the league. Entering his absolute prime. Like, Absolutely. That counts for a ton. It counts for a ton. And he's got Stephon Diggs on the other side, which, yeah, yeah, Diggs will probably see a little bit more work, but he's also drawing the number one Maybe. cover. Maybe. Maybe. Right? Like, it, uh, it, you know, Diggs is great. I, I don't want any of this to come off as, as me hating on Diggs because I'm a big Diggs fan. But if you told me Davis was going to finish with more fantasy points than Diggs, I wouldn't be shocked. I, honestly, I, I thought I was going to have a hot take by saying, like, I could see Davis outscoring Diggs. But it truly, given the fact that he's going to be feasting on the number two corners, that's exactly what happened in the divisional round game. And 201 yards and four touchdowns. How many times do I have to say that? Like, that is an insane ceiling that it takes special talent to have. And just the fact that the team loves him. The GM just out of nowhere on a random press conference decided to praise Gabriel Davis, Gabriel Davis. He's a stud. And I mean that in all the sense being said his habits, he is serious about football, even his eyes. I mean, he's got that look, the eye of the tiger. I'll go to war with Gabe Davis any day of the week. Well, bring Gabe Davis to war with your fantasy teams this year. I absolutely love the guy. He's the type of guy that could go around like six that next year we're all taking around two or three. Like that, that's the type of blow up. Agreed. Uh, and things could still have a huge year. It's not, I don't think it has to be exclusive because I think it's a beautiful aerial pie that is very concentrated between only digs, knocks, maybe a little bit of running back targets, but Gabe Davis is, is right there at, for the nice this, second second seat at the table. And this is, best attacks. I this love is it. not on our agenda, but I, I did see either today or yesterday that the Bills tried to get Christian McCaffrey. Unbelievable, huh? Yeah. <laughs> didn't, didn't work out, but man. like <laughs> How fun would that have been? It would have been so fun. It would that have just was my been... call. Remember, we were talking about huge trades. We like, said that we we literally put that out there in the podcast, and then I uh, saw that it was actually. It would like have been great to clip that and go back had it actually happened, but yeah, yeah. it would have been. We, but uh, you know, at least they were talking about it. That would have been nuts. What is up, you fantasy wolf? Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, share your thoughts in the comments. Check out some more videos and join the newest Wolfpack by subscribing below. Ooh.